Welcome back everybody. We've got the qualifiers of British Esports All-Stars Showdown going on today and we've got the losers finals now. These last two teams, one will go through to finals, one will be out forever, no more chances, that's it. Uh, and the two teams we have are Cross Keys, uh, who lost to Aegis being the first round of VTP earlier, and Basilisk, who we saw on stream earlier, lost in a, in a heartbreaking game five against the Ferris. Uh, and just to introduce those two teams, we've actually got some nice videos to show you. So we'll be back in a minute. See ya. Right, uh, hopefully that's hyped you all up for this uh, this final game of the stream. Uh, and uh, surprise, surprise, we've got a player from Don't Panic joining us. So, uh, Sushi, do Hello. you want to introduce yourself? Um, hey, I'm Sushi, and we've just uh, finished off our games against Felsted and AGSP. Some really fun games to play. Very fun. I'm pretty sure the viewers from the live stream got... Also. Yes, uh, looked like a, a looked like a very convincing game against East Sensors Park. Didn't seem to have any issues there. Were you feeling the pressure against AGSB? Um, Felsted, Felsted Signals. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> EP of a team Crosskeys um, just beat. Sorry. <laughs> that's fine. Um, it definitely was a big step up from Felsted, and I think that that's what caught us off guard in the first game. But we managed to pull it together for the next three games. Nice. So, uh, you have you haven't played any of these teams yet today, but you have been playing with them in six mans. Cross keys and Basilisk. Who do you think is going to take it? Um, this is gonna be very hard. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with Cross keys on here. Um, mainly because I know I've played the um, with scrim Cross keys, so we know how they are. I haven't really seen Basilisk, but. Um, looking at their results against Ferris, I, I think Crosskeys have a slight edge. Okay, uh, I, I'm inclined to agree with you there, but for balance's sake, I'm going to say Basilisk is going to take this. I think, I think once Pleb and Luke can synergize properly, they have the capacity to uh, beat out uh, certainly Erratic and uh, Cherlig. Oh God, that's Welsh. Oh God, it's Welsh. We'll do, we'll <laughs> deal with that in a second. I, I, uh, think, um, yeah. I don't know the exact pronunciation, so we're just going to guess and hope it's right. But we do have Wales against England in this matchup. Uh, I'm going to tell the players that we're ready to go. Uh, and then we will go live. Cross keys against Basilisk. These two sides have played before. 
uh, back in Season 3, it was a 4-0 sweep in favour of Basilisk at the time. However, Tails had just got out of hospital with one of a couple of different infections. Uh, about to get underway though, 5 minutes on the clock. It is Game 1 in this Bestified series. Luke now on the side wall, pushing out towards Tails. Tails catching that ball and pushing it back around the same direction once again. Tails. Uh, loses control. On the ball now. Yeah. He's just following it up. Oh, and he managed to get the 50 goes in his favour, but out of well, Tails just clearing it out. Ooh. Luke. Tap the ball up. And he's continuing to play this, I think. Oh, preflip not quite putting it in. Pleb has bounced it off the side, although he's going in for a second opportunity. No, Tails has saved it. It's on the right side. What George, we're seeing the uh, his mechanical frailty uh, come in there. Luke playing that off the side with an erratic missing. Tails playing it back towards the box. Pleb with the catch. Tails with a whiff. A rare one I'm for a 1750. Okay. Ooh, he nearly got the bump in, and that's going to be a goal for quickly run. I don't know how to say that, but good. Good bump there with the tails, just absolutely putting the defense in shambles, and it's just a goal. Right, I'm going to guess it's Cheer Ligigan. I, I don't know Welch, but we're going to go with that. George right, okay. losing the kickoff to Erratic. It's Tails playing that around. Had a shot on target, but player be able to get the save. Uh, cheer Ligigan. I'm just going to go with Cheer from now on. It's too long. Cheer, okay, all right. Uh, Pleb just missing out on the touch there. George just uh, covering for Pleb. But um, Cheer is just carrying the ball out of the defense. And Tail aims to pass it to mid. Erratic with a shot. And it's saved by George. What a save. Not, not the player I expected to save it, but does so nonetheless. Pleb now trying to carry this ball past Cheer. Isn't able to. He's tapped that ball to the side. Tails pushing this ball. There's no one from Bastlis to meet that, surprisingly. Tails, so coming off the back, well, he double jumped off the top, tried to pinch that ball off the ground, but didn't have the time. Erratic's Fake. faked too. Great timing with Nearly that fake. The third one. If, the if, he fake, the half. if he faked all three, that would be such bad manners and also a massive uh, change in mentality, um, uh, a breaking of the resolve of Bastlis, but they survived and they're able to put this ball I mean, that was not and on target, but yeah. That was an unlucky own, own goal from Erratic. Nothing he could have done there. And the only, goal for the only thing he could have changed is if maybe he'd rotated round the right way. You, you're always supposed to rot in, rotate in via the far post. Uh, and, and then stay at the far post until the player in front of you is out of the way and the player's rotated in behind mm -hmm. you. Uh, and it wasn't even like the ball had changed signs very suddenly there. It just gone in that side and he wasn't in the right place to catch it. Erratic, not uh, not uh, catching that ball from George. Luke though, he's off the ceiling. He's flip reset. Oh, that was a ceiling <laughs> whatever. Tails, hitting it off the side wall, is out to Luke. He's rolled, hasn't managed to get it through. George has bounced it off the corner. Erratic has, has whiffed that aerial. Let's try to in the middle. Pleb, putting that high. Uh, uh, Tails, yes. Tails, Catching that ball. Up. Yeah. Um, I was I was going to say I don't think either of the uh, the other Krosky's players would have been able to follow through on it, and that's not a good place to put the ball by Cheer. Player coming through, he's played that ball to the side, but to be fair, there were two players in defence. He would not have been able to get the shot on target. Pleb trying to fake out Tails, but you can't fake out a 17.50 that easy. Luke bouncing the ball off the, the crossbar. I thought that was going out for a second, but Cheer thought the same as me. Don't think he got up early enough, and as a result, second goal in favour of Bastlisk. Not the uh, not the result you were expecting so far, Sushi. Yeah, I mean honestly, that was a that was a really good play from Luke, that Luke and Pleb. There, Pleb just controlling the ball and getting it to Luke, and that had all the space for Luke to shoot. And it and it looked like um, Che just got to be wasn't just just wasn't there in defence. I feel like. We, I feel like that's a story we're going to hear a lot this game. It's going to be Krosky's making some sort of defensive mistake, or maybe two or three, and then Pleb and Luke tag teaming while George is hanging back uh, as sweeper, uh, so they can secure the goal. Yeah. Pleb though cutting out on the inside, not fast enough. Erratic jumping off his own backboard, uh, diving into the near post, and must have saved that. Um, the ball's just stuck in the corner now. Pleb seems to get the 50 to go up but cheer is just there and 
from Cheers to Demarine Charge that was able to get a little bit of momentum into the other half, but it's come back. Tails just trying to get the ball cleared, trying to get into the again. Pinch attempt um, goes in favor of the cross key king, and it's just over the note and unlucky from Cheer to boom it all the way back to his own half. I'm not sure whether or not Pleb got that mid boost, so camera changed exactly the right time for me to not get uh, whether he had it or not, and I thought it was an opportunity for goal if he was able to carry on through. But there isn't Luke stealing this boost though away from Tails. He's probably not going to be part of his play until he's able to get enough small pads. And there we go, we see Tails. He's had to push up to get that pad. Pleb with Aww. an opportunity, but Cheer getting in the way. Luke's tapped the ball up. Pleb, he's over one, but he's not over Tails. Tails diving round to keep uh, Krosky's in this game. 20 seconds left for Krosky's to score. The ball's dangerous, but oh it's still no. in the box. Oh I jinxed no. it. Oh no. Luke, so unlucky there. With he, that I, I, I don't know how much boost he had, He's but I, I feel like he should have come from a wider angle. Like he we were saying before, rotate via the far post, get onto that backboard, get facing the opposite way to the ball's going, and then get a nice yeah. solid touch. I mean, Luke had quite, he had a lot of boost there. He was I don't think it's going to matter. Luke's got a shot on. and the, Oh, okay, Erratic's played it to the side. Just working together in tandem to save that ball. And it looks like we're going to overtime, but maybe one more last chance. Cleared by Basilisk. His ball's still up. Tails with a shot, doink. Oh, <laughs> close. Very close. Dangerous stuff. Uh, Pleb tapping that ball high. It's cheer that's played it off the side. George, he's been left with an open shot, net. Shot. Okay, Erratic was there. I thought he had an entire net to shoot on, but it looks like he might have had to play it maybe even behind Erratic if he wanted to get that on target. Pleb just intercepting the pass, just being that, being that star player for this team, and having played with and against him, as well as uh, Tails, as as they are the titans of six man for these for these respective teams, and in terms of a leaderboard as well. And I think they're doing pretty well in bringing their team towards the victory, and just in general. George now. He's tapped the ball to the middle. He's, I think he's found Pleb. He's got it past Cheer. He's up. He's going to drop it down. Tails didn't read it properly. That's that's a great save given he's only champ two. And, and he's, he's facing up against some very strong players here. Pleb, I think he should have got a touch on that because Tails has cut that down. It's on the far post. And oh, that's devastating. Devastating I for Basilisk. I have to give props to Erratic for this. With that save, they were able to change them the momentum into their favour and are able to score from that. Krosky's 1-0 up. Yeah, you got to think Bastis had control of that game for so long. They threw it away in the dying seconds of the game. They had, an, had such a clear opportunity to score and it was Erratic's I, a crazy save where he just sort of dived towards the crossbar. Yeah. I, and honestly, I think... I think Erratic is much better than what his rank has been saying. And if you look at the scoreboard score sheet here, he's on four saves. He knows what he's doing. He's like the third, the proper third man back for the team. And I got to say, Krosky's is a fairly even team. Um, they are all just, they, the coordination is pretty amazing on the ball. And I feel like they are going to take the series. But again, Basilis, they are they are very, very good. Uh, certainly formidable, yes. Yeah. I mean, I could see this going into a game five. I, I think that's Easy. a I think that's a fair guess. Uh we're going to head into that game now. Uh just uh just waiting for the new lobby to load up. And there we are. Cross yep. keys loading in. Everyone seems to be ready to go. Um, so, who do you think it's going to win? After looking at that game one, are you still going to stick to Basilisk? Um, I think Basilisk still have a chance of winning this. I don't think it's as strong. I think the uh, the resolve uh, will be lacking in this game. I think if we see them go down a goal, that's the series done. 
I mean, again, I did say that last time. They went, they went down massively. Oh, okay. Um, erratic. Oh, unlucky erratic can't make the save. The, the the saves he did seem to be getting last game. He's just struggling completely this game. All That's three players, all, all three cross keys players on the same side though. I don't think Cheer knew where he should have been positioning in that position. Tails pushing up on a ball that was never his. Uh, in the meantime, about George. We're dealing with some pressure from the cross keys. Luke tapping this out. He's going up. He needs to beat out just Tails, but Tails getting higher faster. So I think that's what we should expect from the, uh, the, the, the top player in the lobby. Luke uh, tries to beat out Tails. Tails playing it to the side though, now along the side wall. Pleb centered oh, it. Just that. I am. I'm beginning to wonder if he's struggling with internet issues because that's the second touch he's missed in not very long at all. It looks and like he's fine from our perspective. Okay. From my perspective. Um, also, you need to switch scenes. Switch scenes, yes. People want to see the game. That's the reason they're here. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I see Pleb going up the redirect. Oh, and Luxy from Pleb. But Luke still gets the touch. Great pass from Pleb. It's a nice one-two play from Pleb and Luke. I think they're the carry for this team. They are. They are by far the carry for this team. And they're two goals up now. I, I don't think they had a lead this substantial in game once. We'll see now if they can hold it. Because as soon as you've got a two goal lead, you can start to park the bus a bit. You can you can start to adapt your play style to the fact that you have this cushion. And you, you can yep. either you can either try to play ultra defensive so that cross keys can't push, or you can start playing ultra aggressive. And then if um, you get a goal, you build up an even larger advantage. Because this, yeah, this I think Pleb and Luke are able to do that very successfully in terms of the two-man attack um, offense. And that's what's got them the first two goals. I mean, if I get a third goal, I think that's done. If I get, if I get a third goal now, maybe maybe there's a chance. But a third goal in 30 seconds time, I'd say uh, cross keys are out. Pleb, rolling on that backboard, not able to get up to it. George, on Erratic this backboard. Ooh, oh, just hit the post for Erratic. Um, amazing clears from Krosky Kings. I want to say he's struggling a lot to... more this game. Um, yeah, I can understand from from that point. But I, I still feel that he has done some very nice plays, but are j just on, um, you know. Oh no! Oh, no. If oh, that's no. <laughs> if that is the way Bastards give away. The second game. Oh no! I, I I initially thought that was George pinching it off the. Oh no! It was George pinching it off the sidewall. That's just unlucky for George. He was just rotating backwards, and he just managed to hit the ball at the same time. Two one two, Basilisk. I think this was mentioned in the university so much over on the, the other side. Uh, earlier this week, it is very rare that you will see a ball played so perfectly into one's own net. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as they say, own goals are always the best goals. Unfortunately, yeah, that's that's kind of true. <laughs> Erratic going for the backward pass. Certainly so for cross keys, I'd, I've got to say. Cause they, they seem to be pushing up into this orange half a lot more. Perhaps the Bastard side aren't so confident in themselves uh, having lost or, or rather given away that goal so easily. Pleb up, beaten out possession. by Tails. So I just want to say, possession is quite even for both teams. Um, we've got three shots for cross keys and just two for Basilisk. So uh, Basilisk definitely has the better um, shot to goal ratio with 100%. So I really think that when Basilisks can make chances, it will most likely end up as a goal. That's if uh, that's if Crossy's going to let them out of their half, because right now Basilisks are struggling. George, though, uh, yeah, have come off the sidewall, misjudged that ball completely, and has gone way too high. Pleb playing us out to the side. It's cheer Three being followed up. Yeah, that was... That was oh, slight. Crossbar. That was worrying from Crosskeys because all three players looked like they wanted a piece of that ball, but it looks like they recomposed themselves, spread themselves out, and indeed tails, putting that ball on target 
a disappointing first touch from Luke. Uh, putting it uh, too far away for him to get a second quickly. Uh, and not close enough uh, for him to carry on. Sorry, too far away to get it past Tails. Um, and uh, not close enough. I don't know yeah. what I'm on about. Okay? <laughs> scores, it's been a long two hours of casting. That's fine. Um, we can just see Erratic just put, putting the ball back into the orange half, but Pleb having full control. Pleb takes a shot, but Erratic actually saves that, even though both both uh, members commit. I, I take I take your point about Erratic being a defensive powerhouse now. He has just backflipped under that ball now, and Luke is going to have an opportunity against Tails. Pleb missing that ball. All the Basilisk players are pushed up. Cheer. Pushing this ball. No, Luke's back for the save now. Everyone's rotated back in nicely. Tails is low though. I think he's had to rotate back and therefore Basilisk have got some time on this ball. I think this game's going to be going to overtime because I can't see how the blue side are going to push this down chance? the field. It's bounced off a corner. There's always a chance, but ah. not when George misreads that ball as it bounces off the corner. Hits the ground. Clock's reset. Oh. Could they score right off the kickoff? Cheer looks to pass it to mid, but Pleb with the clear. I don't think well. I don't think Erratic was ever going to be close enough. Uh, he, I think he'd either just taken the kickoff or just cheated. He wouldn't have had the boost to follow through, and I think it would have been wise of Cheer just to stall the play slightly, buy his teammates some time to rotate. Yeah, in. it takes some more control control on the ball. But as we can see, Pleb going up for the double touch. Does Pleb do it? Oh, he it runs out of boost. It looks like it was a hard read. It was going to be a tough. Uh, tough uh, shot if he was going to cut that in. George recentering yeah. though. That's two demos playing a 2v2 for the next couple of seconds. Definitely in cross key's favour because the ball's on their side of the pitch. George, he's up. Beat cheer, but I think he got a slight touch on that because that ball did seem to be looking like it was going down. Cheer nearly got the redirect into the net but unfortunately just missed. Luke has the ball. Pleb now on the left wall. He's not going to beat out Tails. Tails has lobbed that high. Erratic. Erratic looks for the redirect. Um, Erratic needs to go up sooner for that if he had the boost. Uh, taking that much time against any opposition is not ideal because they can start to get a read on where you can put the ball. Especially on in these sort of ranks. Oh, Erratic just missing it. Hitting the crossbar. That's up demoed demoed though. A double well. commit from cross keys has cost him a goal though. It's Pleb. It's really unlucky for cross keys as every single one of them are all very good players, but I feel like sometimes they're un, uh, miscoordinated, and that's what costs them um, not being able to score and or conceding. A pleb though. Where we can just see pleb on the ball. Yeah, pushing this ball through. Uh, Tails gonna carry this off his own back. Well, two minutes overtime now. These players have got to be feeling it because playing seven minutes in a row can take its toll. Cheer. Plays out from his own corner. It's out to Pleb though. Playing it into the corner. Tails. And there we see it. A missed touch. Uh, not putting the ball where we wanted. It's not going to matter though. George backflipping. Putting that ball. It's actually gone to Tails. And George has taken another challenge. Uh, this ball now back in the blue half. Pleb in the corner. I think it's going to be cleared away by Tails now though. Yeah, I just want to say George. George seems to act like the reliable the somewhat reliable third man for Basilisk as um, he's he's on the scoreboard with three saves so he has he, he has been quite reliable in terms of saving it I mean, and now you've just keeping the pressure. Now, now you've pointed that out I can feel a kind of kinship with George because I, I usually get bullied in six mans uh, for getting the most points just by virtue of picking up all the easy saves but you do have to have one guy which gets those saves because no matter where the ball is going or how the shot's being taken, if it's on target, it's staying on target until something touches it. And yeah, for, for this Basilisk team, it is George. He He's very good at letting his two teammates... He knows that his two teammates are much better than him, so he just lets he lets them go for stuff and understand when and how to rotate. But a bump from Pleb nearly cost Another them... Another crucial save from George. Seed. Yeah. As well as Pleb being the ultimate ultimate carry, trying to pass it over to Luke here. T 
Tails just happened to turn around. They take the shot, misses. Oh, and that's a clear. That goes crossbar. Nice, nice hit from George. I know it wasn't a save. Nice drop down. That's a goal for Tails. That's unlucky. a game for cross keys. Oh, that was a beautiful he had the, save he had the right from George. Idea. Yeah, he had the he right, had idea. The right his, idea. His teammates were not in the right place to back him up, though. You can't... I mean, even anybody placing that amount of faith in any player, they could be as good as you want, but they are going to be touches which go like that and end up going to tails. Yep. Eight saves. Eight saves on the Basilisk side and only three shots. They, they need to start playing more aggressively. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's an unconventional style, but it is not working. This is the second time I've gone 2-0 down I mean, in the series. Yeah, cross skis putting up 13 shots. I mean, that's that's too much. That should not be that high. Um, and, well, Basilisk just need to um, step it up, I guess. Because they need to start getting more shots in if they want to try yeah. and win. Pleb, Pleb is undoubtedly performing well. I said this before, George is the pivotal player. If he's playing well, which he was that game, Basilisk should stand a chance. They didn't, and I've got to say the weak link in that game was Luke. I, I don't remember him making any particularly notable plays. Nothing sticking out of my mind on either end of the pitch. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I think I think we have to attribute uh, Basilisk's loss to that above all. Uh, we are going to enter game three now, however, uh, because the teams uh, are ready for it. If I'm not mistaken, um, Basilisk nearly reverse swept Ferris. They did, and uh, I, I think I think it helped because uh, that George sort of switched on towards the end. Uh, uh, the Ferris also started messing around quite a bit. Um, stuff uh, like uh, switching cars. Uh, I think I think Hazza played the Scarab in Game 3 and the Proteus in Game 4. Both of the games they lost switched back from the Octane in Game 5. And then they took it in overtime because I think Basilisk had a bit more confidence by then. Yeah, it's the... Um, it's it's like the um, placebo effect with Octane, octane um, preset cars. I mean, it, it, the same goes for like Fennec and, and the other Octane-style cars. Even though it's the same hitbox and everything, people just tend to play better. It's like a mentality thing. So, I think switching back from switching back from the uh, Scara back to the Octane. In the meantime, had a mentality. Uh, Cheer has cleared the ball from his own half. Pleb not reacting. I assume he thought Luke was in net behind him, or he just didn't have the time to react. Yeah, but it looks result, like. Yeah. It looks like Luke um, took the long rotation around, i.e. taking the opponent's boost as well as coming back. And oh god, I've just... just I've, you guys card. you guys can't see the game right now. I'm sorry, I misread my uh, my screen. Okay, we're back properly now. George, missing that touch on the ceiling. Ooh, Pleb. Back. That wasn't the touch Tails he wanted in Tails. Card. Yeah. Cheer. I think that was on target, but George blocked it. Uh, uh, with great timing, Pleb, he's, he jumps off the ceiling. I, I I can't really tell if he jumps off the ceiling, but he simply fell away from it very quickly. He used yeah, his flip at the, I think at the last possible second he could have, and it still didn't go on target. Yeah, the ball was too too far below Pleb, so he had the right idea to jump down from the ceiling and continue hitting it. But as soon as he jumps down, the timer is finite. Therefore, he was not able to get a proper touch on it. Luke playing that ball away from Cheer, but it's gone to Erratic George. Getting up to save that seems to be improving as the day goes on. Pleb playing it to the middle is going to catch it. I thought he might have left it for Luke there, who seemed to have uh, a better touch uh, and uh, the same amount of time. Pleb now carrying this, trying to beat out to racket. George going up to try and catch it after Pleb dropped the ball. Very risky for Luke. Yeah. Luke being the third man, he pushed himself for that 50 50, and that was a very risky play, but. High risk, high reward, and it was reward. I am. Um, I wouldn't even say he's been rewarded that much. I'd say they, they haven't gained any real possession. They seem to be quite low on boost right now. George is with oh, that no. ball, cross keys whiffing that tails. He's put like that George wide. Somehow managed to fake, fake two cross key players. Yeah. But also a little bit of a double commit off of cross keys again, which is coming. That's on target. Communication yeah. thing and cross keys too. 
Uh, the the only way I see Bastus getting back into this now is if uh, cross keys start to relax. Maybe Tails goes for some freestyle play, messes it up, and his teammates are too close to uh, follow properly. Yeah, it seemed like in that play, George just threw himself at the ball, not really knowing what to do. Luke Stalkwood, Tails is... That's a rare miss... Oh, oh no, my. my god. How? Oh my... Pleb's not happy. Oh. Pleb is not happy that but, but that would be... If that's, if that's the final goal of this series, the defining moment of Bastus' event, that's really awful. <laughs> and... And he just spams the OK in chat. That's really unlucky from Pleb, just absolutely hitting it into Tails as he lands from the back wall. Another goal for ba um, Cross the Kings. I think Erratic's played that to the center. Okay, George that. has got the catch, but it's only to Tails. Luke, he's missed it. And I think ba I think Basilisk could fallen apart. I don't I think, think that sealed the deal. I, I don't I don't think the heads are in the right place anymore. I don't think I don't think they were at all following that overtime, but it, it was too early to say it. Uh, and with one minute fifty-seven seconds left, and, and, and there we go. Luke's just missed I, that kickoff. I, I, maybe I, maybe the demo was intentional, but I. This is definitely an easy win for um, Crosskeys this game. I mean, all the all the other games, Basilisk have played so well against them only being, I think, one goal down for both of those first games. But it seemed like, yeah, after that second goal went in... And that's a fifth. gone down. This is, this yeah. is relentless from Cross Keys. It's downhill. Uh... Yeah, it just looks like Basilis have failed to withhold the pr pressure and have just crumbled apart in the third game. Really unlucky for, for them as they're such a good team. Pleb, Pleb and Luke working so well together. You've got to wonder, I, I'm not sure whether it's a college or a school, uh, but they, they should have new people coming in next season. Uh, assuming uh, at least one of Pleb and Luke stays, there's a chance they might be able to make an improvement on this roster. Uh, Who played in season four? Uh, it was this team in Season 4 as well, as far as I know. Uh, but uh, George had to play on a, uh, a college account uh, because he's actually a console player, as, at least as far as I remember. Or, or, if, he, or if he isn't, he definitely wasn't the, uh, the usual uh, player in Season 4. Or maybe he just didn't want They're to use his account in school. the dagger now, maybe looking for the Brazil. That would be so rude if I gave him an own goal. I mean, they have, they have to score one as well as them getting scored. And Pleb not happy. Not happy with how the Crosskeys have played. But all in all, Crosskeys a truly deserved win. Yeah, Luke. Popping this ball up, he's going to try to carry this. Can't get through. It's erratic now. Dropping this ball down here trying to play it through erratic now on the ball he's lobbed it pleb saved it though he's going to carry on playing this ball tails bumping pleb opportunity for a seventh no george has played into the backboard eight seconds left it's mathematically impossible for basilis to win this game if they still want a consolation goal they don't want to go quietly into Luke this dark night the and erratic's denied them the opportunity game three in favor of cross keys the only perfect sweep on stream this afternoon and what a sad way to end what has been an awesome stream. Not done just yet, however. We will be uh, we will be doing the first round draws once we know the results from the other side. Uh, but I think we have to cover the takeaways from this game first. Yep, I accidentally um, put in Basilisk as the win. But that is a cross keys 3-0 victory. And i got to say the first two games were very, very close. And unfortunately, Basilis weren't able to keep it up. And as of as of right now, um, the teams that I've gone through are Don't Panic, Ferris, and Cross Keys. And so, ov yeah, over on the other side, 
Uh, Marling have actually just taken game two against AGSB. Surprisingly, given, uh, given AGSB's form earlier. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's going to be a very, um, very good series to watch as well. Yeah, so if um, in the meantime you want to head over that way, we do not mind whatsoever because they seem to be having a great time on that side. Uh, that's Rocket Kingdom TV if you're interested. Uh, we're yeah. going to go to a break and once their series is done, which we'll be watching as well, so you'll see us in chat, uh, we'll bring you the live draw for the Grand Final. See you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.